What's up guys, this is Aparicio, and today we're doing a DaVinci Resolve editing basics. No fluff, I want you guys to get right into editing after you watch this video, right after you get DaVinci. So, you're not gonna be a pro after this video. But, what you will be is an advanced beginner. No, you'll be a pre-advanced beginner. You'll be a beginner amateur. Let's get started. If you don't have DaVinci already, all you're gonna do, go to Google, Type in DaVinci Resolve Download. Um, click the top one. And then you can either download the free version or you can download the paid version. The paid version is $295 USD. And I'd say it's worth it because it's a one-time payment. I think that's really nice. And the free version, uh, you can go ahead and get that because everything I'll be doing today, you can pretty much do in the free version as well. So, click DaVinci to open it. All right. All right, now that you open DaVinci, all you're going to do is go down here to the bottom right and you're gonna click new project. Give your project a name, we'll call it um, editing basics, easy, create. All right, so now we're in here. We're in an empty DaVinci Resolve project. There's also seven pages down here that make up DaVinci Resolve. Let me just give you a quick rundown of those. And then after that, we can get started with editing. So the first one is the media page. Now the media page is where you go and import your media. And then if we go over, we have the cut page. This is very straightforward. This is where you're gonna cut your media. And then you have the edit page where you'll be in most of the time, especially in the beginning. Now we're gonna go into the color page. The color page, this is where you'll do your color correction and your color grading. We'll go over one more and this is your Fairlight page. This is where you'll be doing your advanced audio mixing. And then the next page over, this is your deliver page. This is where you'll be giving your project a name and your location where you want it to end up. Now, when I edit, I typically start in the edit page. Um, let me give you a quick tour here of the edit page. At the top left, you have the media pool and the effects tab. You can click on and off to highlight each. Okay, you'll be using these a lot. I'd keep them both open. And now down here is your timeline. This is where you're gonna be dragging your clips in and cutting them and trimming them, kind of organizing them how you want them to be lined up in the project. And then over here are the in-house DaVinci effects. So you see the you know, video transitions, audio transitions, titles, generators, effects, open effects, filters, audio effects, fair light effects, a lot of effects. Uh, up here is the inspector window. And this is where you'll be doing a lot of modifying to your clip once you click on it. And then here is your viewer window where you'll be viewing your clip, previewing your clips. So, all right, so let's get into importing media into the project and editing it. So go over here to your media pool, right click, and then go right here where it says import media. Go ahead and left click. All right, come down and you're just gonna grab the clips you want. I'll grab this one, this one, and this one, this one, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit open. All right, so every time you go to import media, it's gonna ask you this question change project frame rate the selected clips have a different frame rate to the project would you like to change your timeline frame rate to match you can't undo this action no you don't want to just kidding it depends it depends what you're trying to do in the project you can always change your project frame rate after this so i would just hit change now before you start editing before you start editing you're going to come down here the bottom right, click the settings, and you're gonna make sure that your uh, timeline frame rate is where you want it to be, because once you start editing, you won't be able to change this. I want mine to be at 29.97, click it. Okay, once I start editing on my timeline, I can't change that back, so I'm gonna leave it there. Your timeline resolution, I would leave it at a lower resolution like HD. Say you shot in 4K, I would, uh, how do I explain this? Say you shot in 4K, uh, I would just put the timeline resolution down to 1920 by 1080p so your uh, computer has a better time handling it on the timeline so you can watch it back smoother while it's editing. If you have a fast computer, you just if your computer's built like that, you can go ahead and put it at whatever resolution you shot it in. Let's hit save. 
we want to change the project frame rate. Yes, of course. Ah, God, it's allergies. It's pollen's killing. So now let's edit. This is easy, guys. Seriously, you click up here. Especially if you're coming from like Premiere, it's you'll get used to this in a week tops. So you're gonna grab it, click and drag it. Very simple. I'm gonna click and drag two clips. Um, okay, so what do we wanna do first? Let's look at it. Slowly come into the house. You know what? I don't like this clip. I don't like it. I don't like the way I shot it. All right, cool. We have two clips on the timeline. Now, we're gonna watch it, see what part of the clip we want, and we're gonna trim it. So we're gonna grab over here and drag to the playhead. This long orange thing here is the playhead. And then we're gonna move the playhead. And obviously wherever you move the playhead is what part of the clip you're previewing in the viewer window, okay? All right, so I wanna keep that little part right there. Let's look at it. It's actually really long. Let's trim it a little more. Boom, what is that? A few seconds, okay. So I like this. All right, so right now this clip is obviously a little boring. I mean, it is, I mean, it is a little boring. So what we can do is we're just gonna um, give it a nice speed ramp. You're gonna right click the clip and you're gonna hit retime curve. And okay, as you can see here, we can see the speed of the clip. It's all one speed is indicated by this orange line here. Uh, you're gonna click the drop down right here and get rid of the read time frame line. And now we just see the read time speed line. So now very simply, all we're gonna do is, all right, from here to about here, I want this clip to be sped up. So we're gonna click this right here. And we're gonna put the speed up about 300%. Cool, 300 will do. And then we're gonna click the keyframe again, and then we're gonna click this right here. And now we made it nice and smooth. Just so the speed, uh, when the speed changes, it's not so abrupt. It's not so like, the fuck is that? Sweet, and we can even slow this down a little more, maybe to like 85. All right, let's see the clip. Start fast. Go slow. Nice, and then we can shorten the clip so it's not so long and obnoxious. Boom. I like it. Solid. Cool. Now let's check out our other clip. And now instead of trimming this, um, we're gonna use the blade tool and we're gonna cut it. Now the blade tool is right here. Click it. Now if you drag through the clip, you can kind of preview it and see where you wanna start your, your cut. I'll start it right there. And then stop it right there. Now another way to bring your blade up is to press B on the keyboard, okay? So I'm gonna press B and then cut, all right? And then you can click A on the keyboard to bring out the selector. Click on the uh, clips you didn't want. Hit backspace on your keyboard, click backspace. Now let's look at this clip. Nice and silky. All right, so now I kind of like it just like this. All right, so we got that, that. Let's add a transition to this. Uh, if you go up here and click on Media Pool, you can uh, unhighlight it. And now all your effects are uh, taking up real estate on this side of the screen. Video transitions, very easy. Uh, I think a cross dissolve will look nice. I mean, why not? Nice, smooth cross dissolve. Put it there, let's look at it. All right, let's make that shorter. So you're gonna click and drag here. Just made it shorter. Nice. All right, so let's, uh... all right. So now we're gonna click on a clip and we're going up here to the inspector window. Now, there's a lot of things you can do to a clip. You could zoom, you could change the position, you could rotate it, um, anchor point, change the anchor point, pitch, yaw, flip, 
um, crop it. You can crop left, you can crop right, crop top, crop bottom, play around with this stuff, guys. And then you can uh, put the opacity down, change the speed, which there's better ways to do that. Stabilize it, three times scaling, super scale, lens correction. So you're just gonna hit these little reset buttons at the top right of each section in here. Reset, 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 reset. Um, okay. Cool. Now another way you can kind of reset what you did, say I change the position here, just double click on position, it'll reset, do it again. Go ahead and hit the reset over here on the right. Or obviously you can click Control Z or Command Z to undo your actions in DaVinci or many other softwares. It's like universal. Why do you know that? Now let's apply something from the inspector window. Say this guy, I feel like this clip is a little too far out. Zoom in. Okay, you can pan it up a little bit. All right, I like it. Boom. Cool. Now what else do I need to go over? Uh, to zoom in on a on a clip, all you have to do is use your uh, mouse scroll wheel. All right. So now also there's a dual viewer mode you can do. You just click this right here, and now you have a dual viewer mode. And what that is is you can just drag over your media and your media pool, and you can kind of preview uh, the other clips right here on the the left side. While the clips on the right side uh, are the clips in your timeline. I usually don't work in like this though. I just use my single viewer mode and then whatever I'm kind of previewing, it'll kind of show up in the single viewer mode. So I can still preview it. It'll just kind of take up the whole viewer. Uh... All right, so let me just bring in some audio to show you a little bit of something you can do with the audio. Uh... Let's click this one. I think it's a song. Let's see what song it is. Say this was the beginning of a real estate video. Probably played this song. You just drag it, same thing applies. To trim it, just click and drag. Okay. And what if you're like, I don't like, I don't like how loud this is. You just come right here, and you just drag down right on the clip. Or click undo. What you're gonna do is Obviously click on the uh, audio clip and then come up here and drag to put the volume down, put the volume up. Or you can double click here and type in the number you want. Uh, minus 10 decibels, that's good. And all this other stuff here is just more advanced stuff that you're most likely not gonna mess with right now. All right? Okay. Cool, I like it. Easy, one, two, three, cool. Um, another thing, I almost forgot this. This is important. Let's just add some text, basic, basic text. So you click it, drag it in, basic title. That's just way too long. We're gonna click and drag, trim it, it. click it, and then you're gonna come up here to the inspector window. And you're gonna type in what you want. Um, what do I want it to be? We'll call it real estate. Why not? No, we won't. We'll call it house. Okay. There's many settings for the title here. So many. There's a lot of settings. All right. What can we do to make this interesting? Change the font. That's for one. I want it to be thick. Why is the house starting to look like I didn't spell it right? All right, we'll, we'll take this. We'll take this font. Size, you can increase it. You can also create, increase the zoom, which as you can see, is not the same as size, okay? When you zoom, you're literally zooming in to the title, and then it starts, the resolution gets all low, not as appealing to the eye. So you just increase the size. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's way better. Increase the size. I like it in white, but maybe we wanna go a little bit gray. Kind of match, match the color of the outside. And now 
You know what I think I want? I think I want to drop a shadow on this. I think that's what I want. We're gonna go to drop shadow. All right, I'm, okay. So we're gonna go here to offset. Offset it just a little bit. Cool. And bring it down a little bit, just so it's not so in your face. Bring the opacity to about 33. Obviously this is too big, so we can decrease the size. We'll actually make it coming toward the screen. Kind of animate, the text animate. And we'll go to settings. We'll go to the beginning of the text, the very beginning. And we'll click this little keyframe button right here. Click it. And then we'll go to the end, very end. And then we're gonna go here where it says zoom and zoom it in. So pretty much what you've done is you set a keyframe at the beginning of the text and at the end of the text. So pretty much what you've told DaVinci is uh, at the beginning of the duration of this text clip, you want the house to be at one at its base setting. And then at the end, you want it to increase to 1.5, okay? And let's see what DaVinci did. There we go. So let's go here. We don't just kind of want it to just cut harshly off the screen. You can come right here, drag it. And now it just kind of fades off the screen. Nice. All right, so you just animated something. If you haven't done that already, a thousand times. Sweet. So now let me just bring this audio clip down a bit. All right, so you put a title, you slowed something down, you gave it a speed ramp. You animated some text, put some audio on there. You're liking what you have. So what's the logical next step? You're gonna export this. So now let's go to the deliver page. Give it a name. We'll call it house. Location, we'll put it in downloads, save. So let's all up here. File name, house, location, it's in downloads, okay? Uh, format, I think you should leave all this how it is right now. Resolution, so when you're done with the project, you can go back, put your resolution back up to Ultra HD or 4K, whatever you shot it in. And then now it's at Ultra HD, frame rates 29.97 where we want it. Advanced setting and subtitle settings. Oh, I'm not doing that right now. Go ahead and click down here where it says add to render queue. Now you added it to render queue at the top right, and then you're gonna click right here where it says render all. Render all. All right, it's already done. So now you go look at it. Click here, click in my downloads. Let's see what I've got. No. Nice. Uh, that's pretty much as basic as it gets. You can go in and you can start editing right now. Familiarize yourself with what I just showed you and then build from there. So you can like and subscribe if you found that helpful. If you found that way too basic, way too easy, and you want something tougher, then let me know.